from Divine Masculine. What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot back at it again. Yes, sir. Did you miss me? Because mm -hmm. I missed you. Yes, I did, boo. What's going on with you, sexy? What's going on with you? Listen, we here to find out what's going on with our mans, with our mans and them, you know. For the month of May. Thank you guys so much for clicking the video. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. <clears throat> If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, only thing you got to do is skip on over to that About tab on my YouTube page. You'll see some links there. Um, first thing you need to do is book and then link, okay? So book and then link up with me, okay? So what you need to do is click that hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. And again, that's Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Select and book your reading and then you need to double back on over to my YouTube page and you need to link up with me, okay? My Instagram is right under the link for my booking. So click that Instagram link and send me a personal and private message. And then we will connect from there, okay, on the date and time. And if I could fit you in earlier, I will most definitely try to see if you're available for early availability. Um, if you do not want to get on camera, you can... Um, purchase an add-on which is called a video recap and you can use the video recap if you actually want a video recap of your uh, of your um, session with me I'll record the whole session and then I'll upload it to YouTube and it'll be a, a private link that only me and you have and you can look at it forever forever ever forever ever or you can simply just opt out of the video chat just keep in mind that we won't be able to interact with each other as if you know it would be on a live video chat so what you would need to do is book then link up with me and when you link up say hey reds um i want to just do the video upload i don't want to get on camera here's my question so what you need to do is send me your question without telling me about your situation please do not give me the details surrounding your situation i only want to know what you want to know and then we can go from there okay so if you want to send any personal um Love donations to the page. Uh, thank you guys so much for all of the love that you've been sending. As you can see, I got a new deck here, which is that tea leaf deck. And we will be using it today. So let me pull that blicky out. Let me pull that Mickey out. Let me pull it on out. And thank you guys so much. Y'all see my Batman Fat Man? Y'all see Batman Fat Man? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's my baby, Batman Fat Man. So, thank you guys so much for all the love donations and all the love offers that you've been sending through the PayPal. I also have another option as well. Uh, one of my clients told me, hey, Reds, why don't you put together a, a Amazon wish list? So, I did put that together. So, if you guys want to send love via the Amazon wish list or if you guys just want to send a dollar or two or three um, through PayPal like you guys normally do, you guys can feel free to do whatever you want. And again, thank you so much for all of the love that you guys have been sending to the page because it makes it possible for me to, to continue to put back into the page and for you know things to continue to grow here, especially with equipment and things of that nature. So again, thank you guys so much. Um, let's get into the reading for my Divine Masculine, okay? So... Let's just say a quick prayer real quick. Let me get my little tea leaf set up for a future forecast real quick. All right, so let's just say a quick prayer. <sighs> Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here for the divine masculine. Thank you so much for our strong, our worthy, our dependable, and our ever-growing, changing, and evolving men. They're evolving so much and so rapidly, so fast. It just seems like almost overnight, you know what I'm saying? They just started, decided to make changes. And it's, you know, every day they are just growing and just showing their self little step at a time that, you know, that they are working towards bringing in all of the fulfillment, the fruitfulness, the enjoyment, the happiness, you know, um, you know, really just the sunshine. And the laughter back into their life. I feel like the divine masculines have really been spending a lot of alone time and just dealing with self, you know, and 
it's been like a a nurturing like they've been nurturing themselves like they've been healing themselves they've been like addressing a lot of old wounds they've been dealing with old demons they have been doing like some real deep level self cleansing and this summer is like <laughs> They just, they, they, they're feeling light on their feet. This summer is really going to be theirs. Like, they just want to just kind of be to their self right now. To just be to their self. You know what I'm saying? And they just want to enjoy the fresh air. I feel like the Divine Masculine just really wants and needs some alone time. So they can just breathe. You know what I'm saying? And just readjust themselves back into life a little bit. Because they're such a of a changed person right now. And it's like. When you change on this level. It's like. The way you deal with things in the world. Is like truly different. And it's like you got to kind of. Feel your way through being this new person. And I don't think the Divine Masculine wants any distractions right now. And um. I know I respect it, and I hope that everyone else respects it, because um, I don't think he wants a whole bunch of people like pulling on him and pulling on his energy right now. He don't want to really deal with nothing that's going to like pull him down. It's going to make him depressed. It's going to make him sad. You know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> he just wants to continuously build himself and grow towards happiness. You know what I'm saying? And I really feel on a deep level. I just heard, like, if I want to be down, I could. I don't have no problem doing that myself. And I'm working on that myself. I'm picking myself up. I don't need nobody else, like, feeding, you know, the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just, he don't need it right now. So, Father God, um, thank you for this, like, moment of just self-reflection. Because, like, it is a very purify, purifying experience for the divine masculine and i don't want anyone to take anything personal it's just i want to be alone right now and that's it it ain't nothing personal i just want to be alone and like that's what i'm feeling on a deep level with a divine masculine and i really want people to respect his space so um father god please give the divine masculine guidance um in this time and space that he's at um let's continue to give him encouraging nourishing words to help him throughout his transition because all of us all of us need love space growth and time to heal um so that we can get to our greatness you know just because that's the divine masculine doesn't mean that he's a he's not a flower and he don't need to bloom too you know so Thank you so much for everything, Father God. Please give us guidance for the Divine Masculine. Thank you. Oh, that felt good. I feel good to get that off my chest. I don't know what I feel good to get that off my chest. Okay, so give me guidance for the Divine Masculine. In regards to the future, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give the Divine guidance for the Divine Masculine. What month are we focusing on? What month are we focusing on? April. Hmm. April just passed. So is this April to come? Must be. What are we focusing on in the month of April? What are we focusing on? Ooh, marriage. Marriage is coming next April, you guys. Wow, Divine Masculine. Hey, now. All right, Divine Masculine. Hey, now, boo. All right, so let's see what's going on the first couple weeks of April for the Divine Masculine. In regards to this marriage situation, please give me guidance for the Divine Masculine. In regards to this marriage in April 2020, thank you so much. Or did someone get married in April? Hmm. Oh. Alright, so this is what happened. That's what came out. 
a chain of events that will affect your life will happen in April. Okay? So, it says ant. Work, achievement, and success. All right? So, you're going a chain of events that are going to happen in regards to, you know, work and the things that you've been trying to achieve, you know? So, the beetle came out. Good fortune. Good fortune. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of things popping off. Um, because someone's just been like a diligent little worker ant. Just moving around, constantly moving, rearranging things and, and bringing, you know, they go out and search and gather and bring things. You know what I'm saying? Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. However, they're dealing with someone who's a mule and who's stubborn and unwilling to change something. It says bat. Take care. En enemies are working against you. Whoa. Okay. Then it said bird. Perched. Waiting for news. A package or a letter. Hmm. So, this is what I'm getting to by masculine. So, it looks like the first half of April. Like, there's a chain of events. You know what I'm saying? Due to your animal animalistic nature and how diligently you've been just like moving ahead, you know, preparing because animals, um, their senses, they can tell when it's going to be a storm. They can tell when just their their senses and things, they, they, they can tell whether it's fresh water, where they, they know their senses, their animalistic senses tell them what to do and how to survive. You see what I'm saying? And how to keep things going. And I feel like you guys are going to work so hard. You're going to work so hard. You're going to work yourself into a lot of blessings and a lot of fortune. And it seems like you're going to meet someone that's going to strengthen a marriage. Something that's going to turn into a marriage. But it's saying it's like a bird perched somewhere. That's waiting for news, a package of a letter, because they're working against you, and spirit is urging you to take care. It's like a bird perched in a bat, hanging somewhere. It's like a bird. There's a bird somewhere, okay? There's a bird somewhere that's really envious, all right? Someone who is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So you might not you might not want to deal with this energy and you might need to watch this person because there's a bird perched. You know what I'm saying? Or like a bat hanging upside down, like kind of perched over your situation. You know, I want to say just waiting for news that just maybe possibly wishing misfortune on you. Because they see these chain of events and things are just going in your favor. Ooh. Give me additional guidance. Um, give me guidance about the second week of April. Spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. Seahorse. Family matters. So, it's somebody that you are dealing with that maybe you could possibly have a family with. So, this person feels like they have a spear in their heart. Over some family matters. It's someone that is envious over something that they no longer have. And they're like a bird perched there. You know. Waiting. Just waiting for misfortune for you. But it's nothing but good fortune coming to you. And they need to get over this spirit being in their heart. Because they tripping over something that they can't have. And they sitting there like a little bird. You know what I'm saying. Wishing misfortune on you, but as you can see, you seem to be the most fortunate person ever. You have true love coming into your life. And that's possibly why they're mad. Because even though y'all have these family matters involved, you know, you seem to find happiness and love somewhere else. And this person is tripping over something that they don't have. But they still have to deal with family matters. Give me guidance in regards to April 2020 for the Divine Masculine for the second half of April. Thank you so much.
Give me guidance for the divine masculine. Ooh. Okay. So the will. Indecis indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So I feel like there might be a cleaning up of this ongoing wheel that's been running. You know, there's going to be a clearing up of this indecisiveness. Okay. The well. Family wishes for you come true. Okay. So for the divine masculine, there's an indecisiveness that was allowing your life to ramble aimlessly out of control. I feel like there's going to be a stop to that wheel. And some family, some family wishes or some family matters are going to come true for the divine masculine. Do you see what I'm saying? Family matters come true. And then target a goal oriented person. I feel like you're going to get, you're going to hit your target. Whoever your target was, you're going to hit your target. Okay. And it's going to bring you family wishes. Family wishes. And you and, and it's going to be an end. This will. I don't think this will is going to continue turning. Where you're just letting shit just go out of control. You are like. Putting the brakes on that. And you hit your target. You hit your goal. Bird flying. News is on the way. So the bird is flying. And there's news on the way. Okay? Alright? So there's news on the way in regards to this goal being achieved. Someone hitting their target. Someone hit this target with this goal-oriented person. But for some reason, this is going to bring great personal sorrow to someone. It seems like to me like the divine masculine getting fortune um just not allowing indecisiveness like them just allowing their life to just spin out of control and and and, and some wishes being granted for them in regards to family wishes coming true so in regards to the people, whoever this perched bird is, whoever this old bat, this perched bird is, whoever this person is that has that spear over in their heart over family matters, you know, and again, take care of your enemies are working against you, this bat, okay? Someone who, 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 who wasn't willing, to, that was stubborn and that wasn't willing to change. They're upset and they feel like they have a spear in their heart, heartache over what they can no longer have in regards to a family matter. This person is going to get great sorrow over the divine masculine hitting their target. Their family wishes come true. That's that's going to bring them great sorrow because that the the the, the bird <laughs> The perch bird is watching this bird flying and hitting their target. Whatever they were, whatever direction they were going to, like they're hitting their fucking target. They're hitting their target big time because this was someone who didn't want to change. And this person over here that they hit their target with is someone that is goal oriented. And this brings this person a lot of sorrow. So... Give me guidance in regards to the last half of April for the Divine Masculine. Needle and thread. A sincere wish being granted, Divine Masculine. This is beautiful, Divine Masculine. I mean, it seems like somebody's upset about it, but, you know, I, the tortoise. Slow, but surely getting ahead. So, like, you needle and threading, like, but you, you slowly, you slowly got what you wanted. Reconciliation. Oh, you got back with someone. Basket. Recognition. Reward. For merit. Wow. Divine. Masculine. And then that's going to lead to fucking marriage in April. 
Divine Masculine. Oh my God. Getting married in 2020. Go ahead, y'all. Shout out to the Divine Masculine. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Everybody got to go through their fucking journeys. Do you hear me? Everybody got to go through the divine journey, young. Divine masculine had to go through their journey to open up them spiritually so that they can see the divine energy within their self. Because I feel like a lot of them didn't feel like they were worthy of a commitment like this just because of maybe their behavior. Or maybe they weren't mature enough or they didn't. They weren't able to wrap their mind around the concept of it. You know what I'm saying? Because they felt like it was going to take their player card or some shit like that. But it definitely sees like financially good fortune and romance good fortune. And it's, it's just the unfortunate thing about it is this person that was unwilling to change this perch bird that is like almost wishing bad against the divine masculine. Their unwillingness to change open up something where the divine masculine was able to grab the wheel and take, you know, Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> they let Jesus take the wheel and they hit their target. They caught that flying bird, that one that, what does it say? That flying bird, that uh, goat oriented person. So they had to leave a perch bird, someone unwilling to change. And they found a flying bird, someone that's goal oriented. And that brings this perch bird a lot of heartache because the bi-masculine finding a new family really means the end of this family. Even, you know, because it's like family, family. So there's family. You know what I'm saying? Family matters. Heartache over family matters, over what they can no longer have. You know what I'm saying? So this must be someone that has kids with someone. Okay, and then we got the needle and the thread, a sincere wish is being granted. Okay, the end of April, a sincere wish is being granted. The tortoise, you might have moved like a tortoise, but you slowly but surely got ahead and you hit your target. It might take you to April 2020, <laughs> but you slowly but surely, you know, going to get this recognition. You putting all the fruits in your basket. You putting all your fruit in one basket. I just heard that. You putting all your fruit in that one basket and it's going to stay there. Like, that's literally, like, nah, like, oh, wow, I feel this feeling. Oh, I feel in my stomach. I just felt this deep feeling of just desire and just happiness in my stomach. Recognition, reward for merit. Putting all their fruits in one basket. Because it was always meant to be that way. Wow, bro. Pineapples. Reconciliation. April. 2020. Divine Masculine. Marriage. Now let's get into. We done got the tea. In regards to the future. Now let's get the reading. Alright. I hope y'all. Do y'all like those cards? Y'all tell me down in the comments. Y'all like these cards? What's going on? How y'all feeling about these cards? What's going on? Y'all like them? Alright. Y'all give me a second. Let me put this up. And thank you guys again. 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 For all of the freaking support y'all send to me. Because... God, like, all of this shit was a dream, y'all. Yeah. All of this was a dream. I never would imagine that I would talk with as many... God, I feel like I'm going to cry. Like, I'm really getting a, 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 a emotional. But um, I wouldn't have none of this if it wasn't for y'all. And I love y'all so much for supporting me. I can't thank y'all enough. And I hope 
especially for the divine masculine because i have a lot of men that watch me and i hope that that message brings your heart fulfillment and joy continue 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 working on yourself loving yourself healing yourself baby because i understand a lot of y'all are going through some shit that unfortunately was put on you and I don't think that you really got a chance to work on a process as a child. You know what I'm saying? And now you able to make your own discernment. You know what I'm saying? And you choosing something different. Like you going your own way. Oh. Damn this flew out too. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. And then someone you know is undependable. And insecure that might be that perch bird so no that says insincere insincere it says someone that you know it says money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it and then it says feather someone you know is undependable and insincere so y'all need to watch out for that too, y'all. Watch out for that. And I want to say like that's a message for you right now because that wasn't on the table with this. That's a message for you right now. You might be dealing with somebody in your um atmosphere that might be a hater. Like they act like they fuck with you like that, but they seriously don't fuck with you like that. Like they like a low key ass hater. I feel like they around you just to keep tabs on you. And just to stay on top of what you're doing type of shit. And you watch out for people like that. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, it's a fucking perch bird in your energy. It's a perch bird. They ain't wishing you no well. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, it's like... There, it's like you sitting right next to the enemy or some shit like that. Or you laying next to the enemy. Or you, you playing with the enemy. Because... Abedings of your boys, your friends, or this is someone that you with, or somebody in your atmosphere. And a perch bird. Alright? And it has something to do with your family, so it could be like a family member or something like that. Um, Give me guidance for the Divine Masculine for May. Thank you so much for all of your lessons and your lessons and everything. What is this saying? Compassion. It's a lack of compassion right now. Let me write this down real quick. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. So it says compassion. As you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born, drawing new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel an ever-deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. Um, I feel like right now the Divine Masculine is still working on forgiving herself. So this is like self-compassion. Like, please stop being so hard on yourself. Like, you're only human. And, like, you're only human. I'm sorry, I need some water. Like, you're only human. And I feel like once you start accepting that you're changing and forgive yourself and really start healing yourself, other people will start forgiving you too. You know what I'm saying? But once you accept yourself and be a little bit more compassionate towards yourself and towards others too, because I feel like maybe right now you're grumpy. I, want, I feel like you're a grumpy old man grumpy old man that's what you are big old grumpy old man Aww. like you ever seen like one of them old grumpy old men and she's like did you be like oh bring your little evil self over here let me give you a hug shut up nigga you know what i'm saying <laughs> like that <laughs> like that's how i feel like went towards the energy with divine masculine right now like oh mopey ass old uh, woe is me like come in give me a hug nigga shut up Go on over there. I'll go cook you something. Go on and go sit down and relax. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just need someone to... I feel like the Divine Masculine just needs someone to just... They need that nurturing. They need... They need that nurturing energy. Not a mother energy, but that feminine, like... I love this man. I know this man. Like, it's like... 
that somebody that knows them like when they're up and they're down they don't make them feel bad for when they're down like they genuinely know them and they know how to deal with the divine masculine and help pick them up help make them feel good about themselves like this person knows how to bring the best out of divine masculine and I feel like ever since that energy like they've been trying to like provide that to their self but for some reason I, I just or look for that in other people but I just feel like that level of just compassion that they're used to from their queen of pentacles yeah like the queen of pentacles she's a very good mother she knows how to plant seeds and make them grow. Um, this is someone that he looks at like he wants to like and look how beautiful and, and whoever this is has very thick full lips. Very thick full lips. And she looks like she's sleeping. She looks like she's sleeping. And I feel like Divine Masculine feels like this person is like is sleeping and they're not like acknowledging them right now because you see that her clothes is red you know what I'm saying so she's focusing on getting herself rooted it's like she's sleeping on even what the environment is giving her right now you know what I'm saying because you see the snake is trying to give her something and she's like I'm not accepting nothing from no snake <laughs> she ain't even wake up to, to like take the pinnacle you know what I'm saying cause like the only thing I can get from you is wisdom because sometimes in some of the decks the snakes represent wisdom cause um, the snake is wrapped around the, the um, magician's belt it represents wisdom so I feel like she's like she's growing you know what I'm saying and she's kind of asleep right now. She's not even looking at what's being offered to her because she thinks it's coming in the form of a snake and not even in the form of wisdom. She just looks at it like a fucking serpent. You see what I'm saying? And she's just like, sleep. And the divine masculine is like, I need you to wake up. Like, don't look at me like that no more. Like, for real, like. He don't want her to look at, at him like that no more. He want her to wake up. Like he. I, I just heard I need you to take care of me. Why do I feel so like. Is something wrong divine masculine? Is something wrong? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? It was a death. It was a death. Uh. Okay, so what I feel like, um, there was a death. And I'm saying that I'm saying that because you see how the page of wands is like kneeling before like some tombstones or something. Don't they look like tombstones? And um, the hot priestess in the reverse that could represent infertility. And yeah. That, that could be infertility and that could be like a sneaky female or some shit like that. Like oh, extremely someone that's like holding a hide in secrets or something like that in a sterile or like a, a loss of pregnancy, a loss of birth or something like that. And I feel like he's kneeling like 
mourning something. This is not normal Page of Wands energy. Like, it's like maybe he wanted to send you a mess. Like, <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. Like, no, I'm sorry because I'm just like, I feel like. The divine masculine, cause I'm trying to, dis I'm trying to, um, cause I heard I need you to take care of me, and I, I feel like the divine masculine, they need that. They have a hard time processing death. You know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like maybe a loss of a birth or. Maybe someone passed away in their family, and may maybe someone passed away in their family, and they're trying to process that, and they're dealing with someone who could possibly be a very sneaky, a very sneaky individual. You know what I'm saying? And they might possibly be mourning. Let me get some additional guys. I'm sorry. But I feel like I, I feel like someone died. Some something someone passed away. And I feel like this is not the divine masculine being sneaky. This is some I do feel like this is someone being sneaky. And it was a loss of a pregnancy or something about a loss. It was a loss that's being mourned. And the page of wands is like someone that's very young minded and might not necessarily know how to express his desires like that. Like, he can't never focus his desire on just one thing. And, like, that might be the sneaky truth that's coming out about him. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is something that the Queen of Pentacles already knows. That's why she was asleep. And that's why she, he feels like she won't wake up to receive the Pentacle because she looks at him like a snake. But he needs her help right now. I really feel like. It's something that only that this Queen of Pentacles, this nurturing energy that can help heal him. Like I feel like it's something that it's something that he lost. It's something that he's going through that he really needs her help with. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Yeah. I feel like this person, um, whatever is going on in their current situation, you see this little badass cat came and spilled over the cup and shit like that, and this motherfucker looking at this sneaky little mischievous ass cat, like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just coming over here knocking over shit, like, what the fuck is wrong with you and shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I feel like... Someone knocked over his love... He looked at this mischievous cat knocking over his, the one little cup that he was trying to offer. And instead of, instead of this person have um, two cups to look forward behind them, they actually got four cups still standing. You see what I'm saying? So, I feel like they had way more. Are you drinking? Yeah, it's a lot of drinking. It's, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm stalling a lot. Because I normally don't do this. But this energy is, I'm just trying to figure out what this, what they saying. Because, like, this is, like, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, like, a, 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 a cry for help. I'm hearing a cry for help, like.
some but this this high priestess in reverse that's this cat that knocked over his cup i feel like when he was turning around to get whatever the other shit that was going to be offered as soon as he turned his back this bad cat knocked over what was given you see what i'm saying knocked over what was given like and he feels like this high priestess in reverse is this sneaky ass cat. And he's not he not focusing his energy on that shit no more. He's not focusing on that shit no more. But it's hard for him. Something happened. I feel like something like have a uh uh there was a stillbirth or a miscarriage. Well, I guess a stillbirth is a miscarriage. Like a stillbirth. Uh, no, no, no. Like it was either a stillbirth, a miscarriage, or um, there was like a termination of a pregnancy. Or maybe the uh, baby wasn't theirs or something. Because the, 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 it, the sneakiness. Like it's sneakiness. And it's like a message that needs to, like this person wants to, it's like passionately, I feel like going through something that like made them like kneel down like almost like and i feel like this person wants to send a message passionately because they need help because i feel like their life is spiraling out of control like they are like drinking their life away let me just keep going i'm sorry y'all Divine Masculines, if there's any of y'all in the chat, let me know what's going on. Or if y'all, ladies, let me know what's going on. Am I tripping here? Like, what the fuck? What's going on? Divine Masculine found out the truth. Something that was related to their destiny. Like a false destiny. It wasn't. I just heard it wasn't real. It was like. Yeah. It was like. Transformation. Death. I feel like they thought. They. 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 They know the truth about something or somebody now. This. This high priestess in reverse. They know the truth about this person. I'm not going to say that. They know the truth about this person. That's all I'm going to say. You see that fading? You know what I'm saying? Ashes to ashes. Death to, like they, they, they had to end something. They had to end something. Oh, yeah. Third party relationship. I feel like it was a third party relationship. Rejoice and celebration. Yeah. Um, there was most definitely a, a third party relationship, something that I feel like somebody broke his heart. This high priestess in the reverse, she was a very sneaky and mischievous woman. And I'm gonna be honest, like the high priestess is in reverse, she's known to do witchcraft and like do uncountless, unnameless things for control. And that's why I'm saying that bad kitty. Like, and it's not necessarily witchcraft, but like this person is willing to do very manipulating, fucked up things. Like, like this person could have found out that this bitch put like holes in the condom to like, you know what I'm saying? To trap him or, you know what I'm saying? Like this person is like, um... Like, a go put some shit in your greens or, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like go give a lock of your hair to somebody or whatever. Try to, you know what I'm saying? Like, about power. You know what I'm saying? It was all about power. And Divine Masculine is taking back their power. They're taking back their authority. They're not celebrating. They're not rejoicing. They're not, 
they not part they not dealing with this shit no more. Yeah, they, they put it into partnerships and alliances with whoever the hell this is. They're like, I don't wanna hold your hand no more. I don't wanna deal with you. Yeah. That shit knocked them off their firm foundation. They having to start all over again. They're in a place of solitude. Alright. And what is it saying? They're not getting they're in solitude, and I feel like they're not getting any recognition and reward. I feel like the Divine Masculine feeds off attention, honestly. Yeah. They don't they don't know how to ignite their passion. You know, their third eye chakra is off. They don't know how to ignite their passion, and their solar plexus chakra is off. So this whole situation, I feel like someone tried to exert their power and take control over the divine masculine this person was sneaky this person did uncountless unnamed like uncountless like this person has done a few things to the divine masculine that they tried to overlook and you know what i'm saying but Something happens where I I, I want to say the divine masculine is in some deep sorrow, and whoever there, this queen of pentacles is, they need this person to wake up. They need their help. Give me messages from the divine masculine. Tell me how the divine masculine feels, please. Oh. I feel like in the pit of my stomach, I feel, oh, ooh, this energy. Give me guidance. Ooh, all right, flyers. Says, I'm ready to take responsibilities for, I'm trying to take responsibilities for my actions right now. Please notice. I'm sorry, like that just irritated me because like that's how my ex talk. He be like, please notice, please notice, please know me, please notice. Like that shit just irritated me. It says I will come back for you. Who wrote these cards? They from DC or something? Please notice. <laughs> that is hilarious. Give me guidance. What else does my mask gonna have to say to my watchers, to my viewers? I feel a I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. So to this Queen of Pentacles, karma is a bitch and I finally got mine. They've been saying that for the past couple of readings. You're the only person that truly gets me. That's why I'm trying to tell you, like, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, like, this person knows the divine masculine. And I feel like to where it's though. Other people, when he gets emotional or he get in his bag or some shit, other motherfuckers might be like, man, why the fuck you acting like that or whatever, whatever. But this Queen of Pentacles, she get him. She understand why he's like that. Like, I feel like they come from the same background. Like, they understand each other. It's certain shit that don't need to be said. It's like certain shit that don't need to be said. Like, this one... But she sleep. She sleep. He wants her to wake up. He want her to wake up. And I, I see a lot of focus on her lips. Like, it's something about her lips. Like, he just want her to wake up and talk to him. And just see that he's retained a lot of wisdom. And he's not that snake like that no more. Like, he's been through something that I feel like he needs her love he needs her care he needs her to plant that seed back in him again to help him grow like i feel like he feels like she's the only person that can help him get through whatever this is like she's the only one that knows him that knows how to talk to him where he'll listen like she's the only one he'll listen to but she sees him as a snake Give me guidance for... Well, she don't see him at all. She sleep. She's comfortable in her garden. Like, she's abundant. 
she's successful she's good like she don't have to open up her eyes to see you know what I'm saying like she's asleep give me guidance for this queen of pentacles please give me guidance for the queen of pentacles she says I'm more affected than you know okay I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. No other compares to you. I can't handle your words right now. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. So this Queen of Pentacles feels like for some reason... As much as she has, look, as much as she has, she feels inadequate to be able, for some reason, something was said or something was done that made her feel like whatever she has to get was never enough. She don't feel like she can meet your expectations or ever will. That's why she sleep. I don't know if, you know, I, I, I feel like she's telling you, like, she was more affected by this situation. She was affected by the situation more than you, than you can even imagine. Mm -mm. I feel like um, she's done some things, too. And she finally feels the consequences of her actions in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Like... After it's all said and done, after everything that was done, I think this situation was like an ultimate betrayal for her. And it's like a dream. It was like a, uh, like it, it's, it, it was like a dream to her. Like she's living her perfect life right now and like she don't want to wake up to that reality like you know what I'm saying like that ain't that's not reality for her you know what I'm saying like I feel like she knows why I'm saying this you know what I'm saying whoever this woman is she I feel like she got her karma too like she she got her consequences for maybe getting mixed up with you or something like that but she really feels like out of everybody that she's met in her life, no one compares to you. But I want to say she's learned her lesson. And whatever it is that you got to say, I don't think that she could stomach anything that you could possibly have to say to her right now. Like, that's why she playing sleep. Like, I don't, she's not sleep. I feel like she knows more than you think that she knows she's playing sleep right now like she shut off her energy and everything just completely not ex receptive to it because she just don't feel like like she feels like you've shown her that she can never meet your expectations so it's like why should i be present in that reality Okay, let's see what's going on. Hopefully we can lighten this up a little bit because this is some heavy energy because I feel like this is by mask and he needs somebody to help. He needs someone, he needs love. Like he needs love. It's like, he needs, I feel like he just needs somebody to just let him cry. Someone that's not going to judge. Someone that know him. That's why it's, but she won't, she won't. Give me guidance for the divine masculine for me. 
fake. They don't like Divine Masculine don't really like the cards that was dealt to him. Like they're like this can't be my fate. Red roses, like they still smell the roses. Like I feel like there's still like a level of enchantment in regards to the way that they feel about this Queen of Pentacles. This person still enchants them. It's just like those roses is it's, it's, it's still fresh for them. And they're like, this can't be by fate. You know what I'm saying? Like, Divine Masculine feels like they've been seeing, like, orbs of light. Like, they feel like, I don't know. Like, I feel like the Divine Masculine is, like, on some real spiritual ass shit. And they feel like they've been seeing signs from spirit that is just, like, showing them showing them something you know what i'm saying that like the sky is going to eventually open up for them and their divine feminine they're getting signs from the spiritual realm and it's telling them really to get out of the, the clouds i feel like y'all could be smoking too much y'all might be smoking too much weed and shit like that and they want you to get your head out of the clouds who the fuck is that Um, it says one, 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 you are a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning of manifestation. I want you to like, maybe you guys have been seeing one, one, one a lot. I want you guys to continue to pay attention to those orbs of light, those little signs that you see coming from the spiritual realm, but they're really trying to tell you to get your head out of the clouds and get your thoughts together because your thoughts are manifestation. So if you want to change your fate, you need to start with your your train of thought. This journey was to teach you about loyalty. And I really do feel like that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. Like, you grew up and you learned loyalty. You had to go through the darkness to become this beautiful creature that you are. Pink. Love, caring, compassion more roses i feel like the vibe masculine been really smelling the roses a lot i feel like they've been really caring compassion they need that love they need that they need that right now and i want to say I, I feel like they want to give someone flowers or they want flowers or something about flowers is very significant here coins yeah, they need love and support. And it, and it don't have nothing to do with no finances. So please don't take this just because you see the coins there and stuff like that and everything like that. It ain't about that no more. It is so not about that no more. I promise you it's not about that. 666, raise your vibration. Choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. It's not bad. So don't take it as the mark of the devil, the mark of the beast. Don't do that. It is to remind you to train your mind and stay positive. What is this saying? You are a magical creature. Your thoughts are beginning to manifestations. So stop smoking so much tree and drinking and shit like that. And dwelling on the fact that this can't be my fate. This can't be my fate. This can't be my fate. I need you to focus on what you want your fate to look like. Smell those roses like. Those orbs are like are guiding you to try to like clean it up a little bit. Hmm. Raise your vibration. Choose peace and harmony. So choose peace and harmony. Peaceful thoughts, divine masculine. You feel me? And under the deck is the sever. Sever. Service, rainstorm, morning, orange, force, bones, indestructible, bread, hardship, jealousy, whoa, okay. So let me tell y'all what I just pulled out. <laughs> Cause <laughs> I just kept pulling out shit from the bottom. 
So the knife, I feel like the Divine Masculine is finally severing ties with... I mean, we already seen that up there that they already severed ties. So they severed ties with someone. And I feel like right now they focus on this. Right now they're focusing on work. You know what I'm saying? They might be in the service industry. I feel like them keeping in mind on work right now, it helps them keep their head above the storm. You know what I'm saying? So this is a... a, a, a this is a very... Um, tumultuous time in their life but they have this real melancholy attitude it's not like they are like crying all the time but they just got this like kind of blah like i'm just here kind of attitude and shit like that because they're trying to get over mourning something like i said there was a death like some there was a loss and right now they're trying to get that spark of enthusiasm um i heard orange I just heard October for some reason. Um, cause orange, this is fall to me. And then this is like sacral chakra. This is how someone feels, you know what I'm saying? And re sparking that creativity, that vitality, being determined, you know what I'm saying? And then you see the cat, so that makes me think of October, you know what I'm saying? So orange, I feel like October Halloween has some significance here, okay? It has some significance here. And enthusiasm, enthusiasm, excitement, and warmth, okay? Something about October, Halloween, black cats. I feel like this, this, this season has something to do with something, okay? And... I feel like Divine Masculine is making motherfuckers put down the hammer. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, uh, he's, he's, right now, he's enthusiastic. I want to say he's enthusiastic about the fall around October, around Halloween time. He's enthusiastic about that. That's why he is trying to get these people that's trying to, like, control and have some type of force over him and get in the way of his serenity his tranquility and his peace like there's someone trying to they're trying to exert force over them and trying to like make their life a living hell and like divine masculine like you're not about to make my life no living fucking hell i'm indestructible bitch know me <laughs> In the words of my ex, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, cause I'm trying to tell you, but I don't know why. I just I'm getting the energy of like a fucking ghetto ass DC nigga. Like I swear to God, when I see this motherfucker say I'm trying to take responsibilities for my actions right now, please notice. Like that's <laughs> sound like a DC nigga. <laughs> anyway. Like, they focusing on their bread right now. Hospitality. hospitality. So, I want to say that, you know, possibly that this, you know, Divine Masculine might be in the service industry. Like, they might have their own business. You see what I'm saying? Like, they're indestructible. They focusing on their bread. They going through some hardships right now. And there's somebody that is extremely jealous. They just keep trying to do bullshit to them and just trying to sting and hurt them and stuff like that. And it's just bring a, a lot of hardship to the divine masculine. But at the end of the day, like, that shit don't matter because, you know, they're going through this transition regardless if they want them to or not. Only thing they're doing is causing delays, but not no blockages. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see no barrier. You know what I'm saying? So they just cause a slight delay. And if anything, it just made the Divine Masculine even more determined to be able to make this transition and open up this door. Because this whole situation is unsavory and it's not their taste. You know what I'm saying? Like, Divine Masculine wants somebody and want to deal with someone that's more their taste. That really know them. That It's like an unspoken language. Like, whoever this person is up there, like, the Divine Masculine don't even got to say nothing to this woman she could be sleep and know something is wrong with 
divine masculine because they can talk to each other in their sleep possibly or it's like an unspoken communication of energies amongst them you see what i'm saying it's like an unspoken language like this person can just be around a divine masculine and immediately know something is wrong and i'll just walk over and hug them or or, or, or cook for them or just you know what i'm saying like don't even need to say nothing like They'll just know just the way Divine Masculine will, will, will walk through the door like, oh, this nigga hungry. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you know, like this person was a fine cognac, not wine. Divine Masculine don't drink wine. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like Divine Masculine was trying to drink wine. You know what I'm saying? And what is this saying? Energy alignment. He got himself aligned with the wrong name. Because it says name. This unsavory thing. That was not. Who he should have had his energy aligned with. That wasn't the name. That ain't the name he bought the tattoo on his chest. <laughs> okay. Tattoo my name and let me know it's real. You understand? I feel like some of y'all might be getting a tattoo. I don't know why I just said that. But I feel like. It was just the, it was the wrong name. It was the wrong name. They got their energy aligned with the wrong individual. All right, y'all already know this video long as shit. So give me guidance and love. Oh, I can't wait to get this new deck, y'all. It's like these little heart-shaped love cards. I am going to be ordering them next. Because I would love to have had those to throw them on top of here. Because I'm sorry, but my Dorian Virtue Love deck, that don't burn out. Like, I'm just, I'm not saying that it's not burnt out. But I have literally used that deck every day since I have started doing tarot. I have to give my baby a break. Like, I have to find other love decks that can like give me guidance even though i don't need no love deck to give me guidance about love like truly but look you need you need something visual so oh okay so the divine masculine feels like in love that they're not getting the recognition that they want they hate going through this moment of solitude right now. They do not want to be alone. And they want to take fucking action. They, they, they not with this being alone shit. The divine masculine does not like being alone. They have to be recognized by people in order for them to feel good about themselves. Oh, they, yeah, okay. So, yeah, they trying to get the fuck out of this crossroads. They taking action. They ain't trying to be in this crossroad. They're going back to their twin flame. They want their twin. Like, they literally have a twin. This person right here, this is their twin. You know, like, they say twins have, like, an unspoken, like, if, 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 like, a twin, their twin can be on the other side of the earth. And if something happened to the other twin, intuitively, they could just feel it. And they will call, like, are you okay? And be like, no, actually, like, I just got in a car accident. Like, that is the type of connection that this person has with their fucking twin. They don't have this connection with nobody the fuck else. But I want to say his twin has cut off that communication. Like, this person is completely asleep. Their energy is not aligned right now. It's not aligned right now. It's not a lie right now. I feel like the divine masculine is like walking away from a family. And walking away from a family. Oh, that's not nice. It's like, it's like they're walking away from a family or they're 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 not at crossroads no more. They're going back to their twin flames who they walked away from. Who yeah, they're going back to the twin flame who they had a family that they walked away from. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh no, before we go into this, let's see what's going on in the shadows. And then this this spread and this spread, then we done y'all. Because I know this is a long video. But I wanted to give y'all some you know, information about the future. Y'all like them tea leaf, uh, 
cards right. Y'all like them Jones, right? Yeah. Fuck that shit. This motherfucker reading was informative like shit. No, fuck that shit. I know y'all like, no, no, this shit was perfect. Thank you, Reds. Yeah, they're walking away. There's no doubt in my mind. Divine Masculine is done. I don't even give a fuck. I feel like escapists, they are like running. I feel like somebody is trying to... Emptiness. There, there's emptiness inside. They are running. They, I feel like they're walking away and they're running from this emptiness that they feel inside. And what is this? Yeah. This distance. They, they, they running away from this distance. They don't want this distance no more. They don't want this distance no more. Yeah. And they, they learn how to stop being self-indulgent. They learn how to stop being. So they realize, listen to me. The divine masculine, bitch. Give me one more just to show how much you changed. <laughs> they learn they learn how to stop indulging in one-sided situations. And I feel like they're scorned right now. They're scorned. They're scorned. And they feel unlovable. Yeah, you need to pick yourself up, Divine Masculine. This is what Divine Masculine is, is going through in the shadows. This is what the Divine Masculine is going through in the shadows, okay? They're walking away, okay? They're, they're, they're walking away, and not only that, they're trying to... They're good escapists. They're good at walking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I feel like... I feel like it's someone pulling on them, though, because it's like they're walking away. They were already walking away with their head down. But then, yeah, something happens where it's like they're, you see how they're jumping, <laughs> like they're leaping, like, uh-uh, no, I got to escape this. Like, I'm trying to walk away, but somebody ain't just trying to let them walk away. It's like I was walking, now I'm running, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, mm-mm. And then I also feel like they're walking away from this escapist behavior, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they, they have the thing about escaping commitment. But they realize that them being like that just brings them nothing but emptiness. Emptiness. You know what I'm saying? Like, almost like they feel like they have no soul. And that's why I feel like they feel at this end that they're unlovable. Because they have this emptiness inside. Like, they feel like they don't know how to love. But they know how to love her. They know how to love her now. And they're going to be empty until they close this distance. Like, they can't do this no more. Like, they can't fucking do this no more. I feel like it's too much shit has happened. They they need her. They need her to wake the fuck up. Like, it's like I know. I know I was too self-indulgent. I'm done. I'm done with that shit. I'm done with that shit. I'm done with... You know, not being present in the relationship. The Divine Masculine feels like he was not present in this relationship. And he know that he fucked up because he was too worried about what the fuck he wanted. You see what I'm saying? And he left this person alone because he was being self-indulgent. Feeding the beast that he had inside of him. And he left this person alone. That's what is really in the shadows. That is why the Divine Masculine has been suffering. That's what's been eating him up inside. And that is... Didn't I tell you this man learned loyalty? He know where the fuck he went wrong. You know what I'm saying? He scorned. He scorned because she's not paying any attention to him. You know what I'm saying? He scorned. Like, I know that this can't be my fate. Like, I just can't. I don't like these cards that are being dealt to me. I am sorry, like, I promise to God, like, please, you know what I'm saying? Like, please just somehow just, like, show some type of compassion, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, the Divine Masculine is still kind of scorned behind how everything, he's very bitter and hurt about how everything happened on God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, God. And it's just like he's just left feeling unlovable. You know? 
and it's just like like i heard like i need you like i need you like i need you to pick me up like i need you to help me like this person could show him how to love himself again it's like no matter what he did it's like if if he could just get her to wake up and just to feel his energy again and feel how he changed i feel like she would help him figure out how to love himself again i feel like when they were with each other that he showed her so much about this person showed him so much about family and about love and about commitment about true love about a true healthy family environment i feel like this man probably grew up in like an unclean unhealthy family environment and you see how beautiful and healthy and luxurious you know this woman worked hard um i feel like this woman worked hard in that relationship she worked very hard in that relationship but as you can see it was one-sided she worked in she worked all by herself and she's resting and she's enjoying her lap of luxury for what she's created for herself without you being there she did that on her own you know what i'm saying and she's resting and it's just she's too deep in her resting because i feel like this woman she looks fatigued she she looks like maybe she just created a new home or she built a new home or she moved or something she just went through a lot of hard work she looks fatigued you know what i'm saying like she's tired or even just what she went through building herself back up and fit building her uh, uh, environment back up safe and secure and solid after what happened with y'all like she's tired and that's why she's getting her beauty rest give me some last words for the divine masculine and nine of pentacles so okay 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 So this is what I'm getting. Divine Masculine. So it just seems like this month, the whole thing that you have to process this month is like you got to be able to. You have to learn how to be successful and solid on your own without taking shit from women. And I don't want y'all to get offended, but I'm just saying that because look at the picture. You see, he's still in a lock of her hair. You got to learn how to be successful and bring things into your life and be successfully fulfilled and be solid without using your dick and like drugging bitches with your dick and then taking what you want out of the situation. Like that's not going to lead you nowhere. You know, I feel like um, I feel like you love a lot of sexy, sultry, beautiful women and you know every man does but at the same time your need for attention and to always be out there feeling on a new booty was your downfall you know um as you can see this emperor has his a wand of a dick in his hand and i felt like you were too concerned with stroking your own dick and stroking your own ego that you neglected to be a good father to your kids you neglected to protect and you know be the good willing and you know you used your powers 
in the wrong way. Your powers meaning maybe you control this person with sex. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you might have a sex addiction. And I feel like you let that overpower you. You let your desire to be... Like your biggest problem is that you you thrive on attention. And you always got to be touching something new. That's what makes you feel fulfilled. A whole bunch of beautiful women. And it's getting in the way of you being a man that you really can be. Like you are a good man. You are a good father. You are a good protector. You are a good provider. But when you right here. And you just using your dick. And how you can slay dick. And how you can slay wood. To get these bitches drunk and love. So you can take from them what you want. In order for you to feel successful. That's not. That was your downfall. Because you. Ultimately, weren't offering anything at all. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that was your downfall. And now you, being in this energy, destroyed something that was the most precious thing that you now realize that you ever had in your life, that you ever experienced in your life. And this person has walled you out and looks at you as a snake now. And... One of the most important things that you can have is your reputation, your balls, and your word. So you had to go through the darkness to learn loyalty. And even though when she was in your life, you felt it. You never felt the connection like that. You knew that this was your twin. But you fucked her over anyway. And now you sit here day by day. Living in regret. And now. And now. And now. Taking action. You better hope she wake up. Divine Masculine. I love y'all. I love y'all. But guess what? Y'all get married in April. <laughs> Maybe she just getting beauty rest. Hmm. Marriage in April. <laughs> we'll see you, Divine Masculine. Peace.